Oh. Good afternoon everybody, it's Scott Scott here for another uh, exciting episode of Minecraft Iowa, Iowa 20 World, but we've got a, a slightly different one, it's more uh, of a walk down memory lane if I'm honest. This uh, episode is going to cover um, the first ever modded world me and some of my friends played on. Uh, oh, I can't even remember which version it was. Uh, let me just have a quick look. I think it's, oh that was it. It's um, the Minecraft version is 1.4.7 and the Dark Wolf version is 5.3.2. So we are quite going through uh, history right now. Um, it was quite important to us uh, when we first started because we'd only played the standard vanilla Minecraft and this was our first entry of Farrar into modded Minecraft. So what I'm going to do uh, in this episode is we're going to go through my base, maybe on the next episode one of my mates and the other episode will be on my other uh, mate's base. Wow, okay. <laughs> this looks like a very, very old Thorncraft and Mistcraft setup we have here. Enchanted weapons. Wow. Okay. What's this? It's got a Thorncraft and old Thorncraft. Actually, tell you what, we might as well start from the, the bottom and have a look, quick look outside. Oh, wow. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, gravity chest. Okay. Oh, what's the button for that? Oh, wonderful. Oh, wow. <laughs> Like we've got an old uh, farm here. Oh, some funky little golems as well. They're from Formcraft as well. You basically have to uh, magic them up. Oh, I don't think that's obviously around anymore. The golems aren't. Just got some farms here. That was the first build. Yeah, we did. Uh, looks like some rubber trees to get all the rubber from. And oh, tesseract. Oh well, they haven't been in. Oh, uh, Die War 20's mod pack in a while. So essentially the Tesseracts would allow um, energy, items, water, and what else? Oh, I think there's probably something else there. What you could obviously transfer, is it? Quarry as well, cold coke. Oh, wow. So it must have been, yeah, creating cold coke in here. And then steel ingots. Ah, and you needed to... Oh, this is the first time obviously I built a load of... Uh, it's like an oil refinery. Is this it looks like um oh it's assembly table, so you'd obviously create uh, your different uh, chipsets from these lasers. Wow! <laughs> Evidently, I had a lot more time back in the day to build these uh, funky little structures. Oh wow! Oh wow! So these are the little turtles. You'd uh, program them in, uh, in a programming la language called Lua. Uh, by the looks of it. We'd have our spawners, and uh, the spawners would, um, I wonder if it still works, actually. Let's have a look. It's got wiring here. Let's see if it actually allows them to spawn. Oh, there they go. Ow. Oh, yeah, they're going. Look at them. <laughs> wow. It's not as, as efficient as, obviously, uh, all the new builds that we've got, but that is pretty cool. Turn uh, that back on. Wow. I assume what will happen is uh, these will suck up the items and then put them in our storage system, whatever that might be. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, we've got steam turbines as well. There. Wow. That's pretty cool. Right. Ah, oh, that's where the items go. Huh. Did we not have... I have applied energistics or refined storage in this world then. Wow, okay. That is quite old, I have to say. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, wow, you look at that. And you remember, uh, guys, in um, the latest world we're on, I literally had one small floor where it would deal with all production. Looks like we're using... What are you using here? Fuel, okay. So I guess that was probably from the refinery. Got the oil here. The refineries would do their thing in here and dump it in there. And then what we'd use the fuel for is uh, these steam uh, boilers, which would then go up to the turbines, which would generate power. Or over here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, you look at that. And they've got all the energy uh, cabling there by the looks of it. What are these? 
Oh wow, this is when we uh, didn't really uh, use uh, RF, when we used EUs instead. It's another um, mod that produces energy. And then you have to use uh, like low voltage, medium voltage, and high voltage transformers. Problem is, obviously, it would blow up a lot of things. What are these? Recycle. Ah, uh, okay. This is bringing back memories. So you'd have things uh, UU masses. So what you would do, I think, uh, you'd pull out a load of um, cobblestone, generate a load of cobblestone. That would get into these recyclers, which would then turn it into scrap metal. Which would go into here. Wow, look at that. Which would then go into these mass fabricators. Oh, looks like it's actually working at the moment. Which would then, I guess, there you go, look. It create UU matter. And what UU matter is, is it's basically a, a component that allows you to make anything. Oh, wow. Huh. So that's the UU ma matter of factory. I guess this side over here, what is this for? I don't know what it even has in it. Hmm. So this side over here, what's this? Combustion engine, ah, okay. Aqueous accumulator as well. So this must be our um, processing plant here then. Electric furnace, yeah. So is a combination of RF Pulverizer, yeah, so like, as I showed in uh, previous episodes, you pulverize um, the ores, so you could duplicate your load. And that, obviously you'd have uh, lots of sieves, so you could obviously then have lots of more as a back backlog. Oh, a bit of a lag there, I don't mind. Wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, so much nostalgia right now, <laughs> guys. I'm sure you guys have done that, like opened up an old uh, world you used to play on and that, and it just brings back memories. Let's have a nibble. Oh, hello. Okay. I also remember this, uh, had a lot of lag. I believe this is actually, yeah, this is probably my first ever build here. Over here, I think was a uh, oh, there's just an entrance to it. Hmm, okay, wiring, current project materials, and medium voltage solar arrays. I think we've got loads of high voltage ones now. We must have anyway. Hmm. It's through here then. Oh, <laughs> this was um, my second build. So what we had. What I, oh, we're a bunch of... We generate a load of co uh, coal and it would go into the coke oven and what we would want is essentially this creosote oil because then this creosote oil would then be sucked into here and then you'd have all these steam boilers that's a lot of steam boilers six of them which would then power all these steam engine or steam furnaces and then they'd power these air uh, return energy cell which would then go into uh, some tesseracts would have then power everything else. Oh wow, I had so much time. Like in the previous, uh, in my, I would say actually my current server, we have um, everything's condensed. It's far smaller. So here, oh okay, this is bringing back memory. Light. I wonder, is this um, my second base that I built? Oh, isn't that cool? That's pretty cool, guys. So this um, server was probably about nine years old, ten years old. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think we've even got more of these golems. I, look, I think they've got weapons. I'll probably set them up to stop anybody else, any intruders from coming in. Because one of my mates, he liked to kind of uh, be nosy. Ah, so I must have been starting to build an applied energistics system. Oh, there you go, that's where it's all going. Oh, you can see it's actually going up as well. I love the fact that after like nine, eight or nine years of the server being switched off, everything still pretty much works. What's in here? Huh. This looks like a different spawner. <laughs> ah, so it's a similar setup. What are these things? 
Ah, that's... These must be like Tesla coils or something. But I must have set the, uh, the glass up so it wouldn't be too close so you wouldn't actually hurt yourself. It's still got the same um, setup in terms of the water pushing them into it though. Hmm. I do like these actually. They're pretty cool. Huh. So that's what that goes. Alright. Gotta be quick guys. Gravitation engine is on at the moment, so 33%. What's through here then? Ah, oh god. Oh, it's a bit of lag there, guys. Huh, this is, uh, I guess, where we did our mining then. We didn't have, uh, we didn't use environmental tech or anything like that. So, the Tesseracts, yeah, this is doing energy. So that's powering the, the quarry and this must be the where the yeah where the items go through be uh, taken back to the processing plant and these look like they're from the portal uh, game huh look at that that's amazing that's pretty cool oh, actually I've been upstairs yet have I oh looks like a little throne of gold lapis and emeralds the bed Ah, that's where all the, I guess when I started using high voltage voltage solar arrays. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what's over there? Oh, come on. Hmm. That's, I guess, where we did, uh, uh, nether. Don't know what we did that for. What's this place? It's quite beefy. <laughs> wow, okay. This must have been uh, when I was building a nuclear reactor. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, one thing which I, I miss about the, you know, like some of the newer worlds, you kind of get so used to uh, mods just being there. And one of them is uh, telling, basically tells you what blocks they are. I really do miss that because I don't know what this, these blocks are related to which mod. That's cool. Got a containment area as well. The kill switch. What's that? <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's got a delay there. Oh. Looks like we're getting a bit more lag. I do have to remember this uh, world having a lot of lag on it. There was a lot of um, inefficient. Uh, mods on here, and I guess with all the the different objects being moved around as well. Right, let's see what what we're doing in the Nether then. Oh God! Hmm. Wow. Okay, this is bringing more <laughs> more memories. I think before we start using um, uh, portals, we must have used this as a nexus. So I wonder if this. This then leads to one of our other bases, one of my mate's bases. That one does as well, and that one, by the looks of it. It's because obviously in the Never, like, I think eight blocks in the overworld relates to one block here, so you can obviously create a little nexus. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Right. Have to say, yeah, this is bringing back a lot of memories. It's, 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 it's a bit sad, really, but, but also fun at the same time. All right, let's go back. Okay. Oh, come on, gravitation engine, move. Okay. I think there was one bit which I didn't try actually. Let's have a look. Uh, was it this one? Pretty sure I saw a hole. Ah, yes. There it is. Huh. <laughs> I remember this day, there was an object, uh, or a, a block where you could uh, terraform and change biome, so I guess I must have turned this into a mushroom biome. Oh, wow. More memories as well. I must have started building a uh, what was going to be a giant dwarf. 
and I'm, yes, 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 my mate's uh, base is over here, which I think we'll cover in the next episode. But he got pretty annoyed because he had this nice little view, and I completely ruined it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, wow. That is, uh, yeah. Trip down nostalgia lane, it seems. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh. Seems to be getting laggy now, but... Anyway, guys, I think that's enough for uh, for today. Um, through uh, my nostalgia eyes, as it were. I mean, obviously, if you like the video, uh, if you want, you can subscribe. Obviously, uh, like the video. If you want to see more of it, just do them things. All right, guys. Anyway, I'll see you later. See you until uh, the next episode. All right, guys. Bye.